Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today, we have a very significant 7.5 to strike off the coast of East Russia. Uh, only about 5 felt reports because it didn't occur in the U.S. or anywhere around it. So USGS is not well known there. Uh, let's pull this up on Google Earth. See which tectonic plate border it occurred on. Computer's been a bit slow today. There we go. So it occurred between the North American plate and the Pacific plate. And you can see it's a subduction zone, as it says here. Convergent. Because of the trench. And let's see how far this was from our seismometers. About 4,313 miles. So pretty far, but since the quake was of such significance, its readings on our infotector look it's been a while, yet its readings are still coming in massive. So it's been 30 minutes, you can see here, this is where it really started to pick up. Here's the P wave and S wave came in at around the same time. It starts right here. And usually they like come in this huge readings, but then they fade out at around here. But this one is still going after like 40 minutes now, which is just insane in my opinion. Let's look on the Raspberry Shake. All right, it's a bit of a mess here. Uh oh, scroll down too far. So you can see it starts just around here and then we just get these massive spread out readings again spread out because the quake was quite far away then it goes on on and on fades out then it gets then it like gets picked up in a few other p after a while Let's check this on the spectrogram Again, Quake was very far away, so it doesn't have a high frequency. But you can see the deep red color here, which signifies very strong shaking. And red fades out, but still keeps going for a very long time. You can still kind of see it there in places. You can see right there. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you again in the next video.